Well, my wife says that I have nine lives and I've used up six of them already. <laughs> I'm back and uh, I have a good topic for a video today. We're going to talk, talk about um, copy along path. And I think I need to do a separate video on this. I've done probably five or six. I've incorporated them into other videos. But um, today I'm just going to focus on copy along path that'll keep me locked into a short time frame and get my point across at the same time so one of my patrons steve sent me a, a picture as you can see here in lightburn of a star and he wanted to recreate this star for himself but he couldn't figure out quite how to get those edges like that so i did a, a quick personalized video for him of how to do it and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this as well. So on the left toolbar over here if you're in a new version of Lightburn you'll see if we come down here we can get the star and just hold shift and drag that out and now we have the beginnings of what we've got over there. So really pretty simple process to do this and what we need to copy a long path is first this needs to be a path. So let's go ahead and click on edit up here in the top left corner and come down here to um, convert to path right there. So once we've done that, we now have the path that we're going to be working with today. So let's come back over here to the primitive area, click and hold and grab an ellipse, hold down shift and draw a perfect circle like that. Now we can take that circle and snap it right into that path on the top. Now, this shape or path that we're going to be working with today has five sides to it, uh, five points, as you can see. So to do a copy along path, you have to know how many sides you have or else it's not going to work. And this has been like the number one problem that people want uh, people have when they do things like this. So I'm going to select this shape first. This is the shape that I want to copy along the path and I want to copy it to I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select the path that I want to copy that to. And there we go. So now we've got that selected and we're just going to come over to arrange up here in the top and come down here to copy along path. And once we click on that, it brings up a new operator that has all of the shapes inside here. And we can define how we're going to do this. Now, I just talked to you about the fact that it has five uh, corners, right? So let's change this to five. You see, it looks kind of funky right now. But when I go to five, you see how perfectly arranged they are. So uh, that's the mistake that people don't have. If you had a square, for instance, uh, then you would have four copies around it or any multiple of that number. So we're, we have five and we want to hit a multiple of that number. So if I put in 75 as an example, that's going to come very close to what he's got over there. I think maybe 85 is perfect. And uh, I think 80, we're going to go with 80 copies and that's perfect. Now, what, what you want to do here, you want to make sure that right here where it says select results, you want to turn that on because we need to select them after we finish copying them along the path. So now I'm going to say OK to that. And now they're all selected. And you can see that because they've got the little Vegas lights going around in a circle. But that path is not selected. So I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to hold shift for multiple selection. And I'm going to select that path. And you see that just lit up. So now we've got everything selected. And this is the simplest procedure that there could be in Lightburn. I'm just going to come over here to, to the uh, Boolean operator. And we're going to hit weld. And that's it. And now you can see we've got that exact shape that's in there. And uh, to go a step further, I even had, I even noticed something here that this, well, I don't know where he got this from, but this actually has my graphic in there. 
<laughs> which is uh, kind of neat. You know, somebody else is using it, I guess. Uh, I have that in my animals under deer in woods. Let's see. Um, deer in woods right here. So if I bring this out, you can see that this is the actual graphic that somebody used to make this design over here. And this is a two-layer design. We're not going to uh, do that today. So I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Now, the next thing that we needed to do in order to make this whole design is we needed to grab another one of these stars and just draw it out up in here. And now with it selected, we'll grab the outer one, bullseye it. And that looks pretty darn close. But if I, I want to just make it a little bit bigger, so I'll, I'll select it, hold down control, and scale this up just a little bit like that. And now we can take and put any graphics that we want inside this one. We can recreate this in under a minute. <laughs> under a minute's time to recreate this. And there, that's the beauty of the copy along path. So uh, I wanted to also let you all know today that I've got a new contest for a giveaway. And it's going to be for uh, my, my friend's product. So my friends Emily and Joel over at the Wild Willow YouTube channel, they make these awesome magnets. They're called Edge Lock. And they come in two different sizes. There's this 12 inch size. And then there's also a little three inch size here. So um, very, very cheap. $20 for a set of four of these and $20 each for these. And these are just fantastic. On one side, there's a slot, a 1.5 millimeter slot. On the other side, there's a three millimeter slot. And you just use these to to fasten down your material on your laser bed. So we're going to be giving away a few sets of these at the end of December. And I've set up a, a raffle. I'll put a link down in the description to get you over to that raffle where you can sign up and you can enter daily if you want. So I'm going to be starting up laser raffles again and probably run them through uh, mid next year. So take a look in the description and follow that link to the laser raffle and enter for yourself. And entry is quick and easy and you might get a chance to win a free set of these fantastic magnets. So um, that's it today. A, a quick video. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much for all the well wishes from my heart attack last week. And uh, I just, the, the outpouring of love and prayers. I mean, I've got <laughs> nothing bad can happen to me because I've got, you know, thousands of prayer warriors out there. And I really appreciate it. It warms my heart. Thank you so much for all the, all the well wishes and the emails and the messages and everything. It really, you know, made my week in the hospital uh, a lot more, uh, a lot more easy to get through. Um, so I want to thank you all so much for that. Uh, it, it really was very heartwarming. So I hope today that you, you'll see how easy this is to copy a long path. And uh, you can use it in many different projects, either making scalloped edges like you saw here today, or uh, scalloped edges for a picture frame. I did a video on that about two years ago. Uh, but, you know, there's so many videos that I've got. I've got over 400 videos and I never did really organize the titles properly and usually got into more than one topic in each video. So this one's going to be a single topic video, copy a long path. I hope you enjoyed it today. So uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.